welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie L. And today I just want to show a small Timu order that I put together from, yet again, my large order. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> and as I've probably said in numerous videos before, I am a Timu affiliate. So you're going to see a code appear right around here. And just to let y'all know, if you use the code to search on either the Timu website or on the Timu app, it will allow you an opportunity. If you're a new user, it will provide you a couple coupon bundles for any order you want to do, and it can reach up to the max of $300. If you're a returning user, you can be provided with a 30% discount or depending on what kind of order size you're doing. And any order done with this code, a small commission comes back to me. And trust me, anything with the commission goes back to the channel. So I'm able to show a lot more diamond paintings for you all. <laughs> See how quick I was? <laughs> and so without further ado, let's get to the paintings. So today, this time, we're doing flowers, y'all. <laughs> I love flowers. I'm going to probably, I think I say that in almost every video because I always end up with a painting that has a flower in it or it's all flowers so this one when I was going through my stash it is my sorry my little teamy stash of the large order I did I saw ooh, I do have a good number of flower paintings so I just grabbed three of them and they are larger paintings I noticed that I did order large ones a lot of large ones this time so I grabbed some three three paintings that have flowers I really love them all and when you unfurl the painting, you will have your diamond and your standard kit. And just in case you're new to diamond painting, the standard kit is always the wax, the pen, and the tray. And all you do is get the pen, press into the wax, press into the diamond, you pour it in the tray, press it on the painting, and voila, you are officially a diamond painter. And do not worry, if it breaks or if, you, if it's lost or anything, your next painting will have your back. And you'll have one as well. <laughs> and these are the diamonds. Yeah, I see all the browns. That is a lot of brown. <laughs> I knew this painting was going to be a lot of earthy tones, as you can probably see here in the middle. There are a lot of dark, dark browns as well. And on the other side, I see those wonderful yellows. I spotted this yellow really closely. Nice brown, light peaches. It is. It's a really earthy tone painting. I really love these colors. I was a big fan of that. And this is the painting. It is a nice little, I guess, bushel, you can call it. No, bouquet is a better word. Uh, sunflowers. I love sunflowers. So I've probably shown a lot of paintings of sunflowers on them. And when I saw this painting, it's so, so pretty. And I'm just going to pick up the plastic real quick. Just to settle it because it keeps rolling in. And sometimes placing the plastic back down does help it settle a bit. Since you saw that the painting was really creased up. I'm just doing it to assist the paint to kind of stay a little bit more flat. So you can see the image a little bit better than having it all curled up. Ooh, that is really stuck on there. As you can see me struggling with the plastic. Sometimes the glue is a little tough, so you're going to have to fight a bit. Okay, really fight a bit <laughs> to get the plastic off of it. Oh, and there we go. And it does come off. Don't worry. It does, unless... There's um, an issue with the painting itself. Even when it's a tad tough, as you saw just happened with me, it will pull up and it won't really pull off the glue, as you can probably see. It's still sticky. <laughs> it's just sometimes the glue little settles a bit on the plastic, so it'll be a little tough to pull, but don't worry, it won't tear so much. These canvases are a little rough, and so as you can probably hear, they're a little tougher, and I never have any problems with any of these canvases tearing on me or anything same thing with the plastic it's a little it's a little bit thick but it's really sturdy so do not worry if that happens to you just take your time and it shouldn't give you any issue to settle back down <laughs> and yeah there there's some flowers they're so cute even at the base of it kind of looks like a little pot but i'm not too sure it's so cute and i love how kind of antique looking it looks and i love that i think that's why i fell in love with the color because I love the little style of it. And some information about the painting. It is JC086 and is a 30 by 30. It is 21 colors and it's all alphabetical letters. Yay! I love those. Those are really easier legends. 
as you can even see it in the little pictures it's all brown tones as you can see i really love this painting i think this one i might do in november i don't know it makes me think it's such like a fall november color ah, i really love this painting and here in the middle of the screen i'm going to put a clear image so you can see it more clearly with a nice little <laughs> pot container of sunflowers here's the earth style as well i kind of figure out what it was it looks like a little Oops, sorry about that. Little noodle pot. I have no idea why it makes me think of that. And it's just the next thing. And this one. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I can't see the plastic. So I have to really, really pay attention. Just taking the cover off of it real quick. And there we go. So you just have to unfurl it. This one's a little bit bigger. So taking a little longer. Same thing. Oh, these diamonds are a little loose. As you can see, there's no plastic cover on them. Don't worry, I'll take care of that issue right now. And this is the kit. Ooh. I love the little, this is a little sturdier kit. As you can see, the plastic is a little bit more thick. I've been seeing a lot more of these recently, so I'm really glad. I, I really do have to use one because I want to see how it works. And these are the diamonds. So, oh my goodness, these purples are so pretty. I love the lilac, the violets, the really dark purple gray. These are really pretty colors, as you can probably see, with some of the lighter tones in the middle. They're so, so pretty. Oh, I really like this. The little pink, the violet. Oh, I really like this color. I hadn't really noticed the color uh, color tone, sorry, of all the possibilities of this painting, because I just fell in love with the flowers. <laughs> you can see all the colors here. And so for the diamonds, I'm just going to put them. Oh, sorry, I tapped the microphone there. I'm just going to put them back in the little plastic wrap. Just so I don't lose any of the diamonds. And this is actually the second painting this week of, sorry, let me just move that, of the little haul videos I've been showing y'all. But the diamonds have been loose. Huh, that's interesting. I've gotten them before, but not as frequent as I have recently. But as you can see, this little plastic covering helps you out a lot. <laughs> I really like that. And this is the painting. So, oh, here we go. Couldn't find the pot. <laughs> These are so, so pretty. I really love that purple color. As you can see, it's a little vase of, I'm not too sure. They're not lilacs. I don't believe so. And I'm not too sure what. It's a flower that I know. It starts with an H. I'm going to say hyacinth or something like that. I. I've seen this flower before. I just always forget the name. But I really do love it. I love these little purple flowers. And I've had another painting that kind of had these flowers. But it was uh, it was like a little archway that had the purple flowers hanging. These exact flowers. I forgot what the names actually are. But I know they're not lilacs. Because lilacs are a different kind of style. They're so pretty. And I love the purple tones. And as you can see. A little bit better. I settled the plastic just to help it kind of. Well, actually, I'm gonna roll it up a bit. It's really, really creased up. I don't usually get paintings with really strong creases like that. And there we go. Help settle it up a bit. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's on a windowsill. As you can see, the lining of the window, the base here. There are, I believe, there's shells. They kind of look like that here. Little vase with the flowers, and you can see the outside of the window some green trees it's so pretty it's like a photo it is real pretty i think that's why i like this one a lot because it looks really peaceful i'm a big fan of that and some information about this painting it is tm hyphen dw1610 and is a 30 by 40 and on legend it has 25 colors and from the numbers one through eight they're all numeric order and from the from number 9 to 25. Ooh, it's another kind of mix as well. There's a couple capital letters, lowercase letters, and some symbols, a plus and an equal. I've been seeing some paintings with these with this legend as well. But I don't know, I'm kind of getting used to it because the current painting I'm working on has this. So I'm kind of picking up, you know, the difference of one and being a little bit more careful when I'm paying attention. And this painting does have assistant circles. And what I mean is little circles surrounding the symbols, as you can probably see. Let me check if I can get that in focus a bit. Because I'm real close to the light. Sorry about that. You can kind of see the circles lining around the symbols. 
And I really don't mind those. I know some painters, they're not fans of it. But I have no problems with that because it really helps a lot, especially if you're new to diamond painting. It just assists you on making sure that the diamonds are straight. And it helps me because every now and then I'm off. <laughs> so if I see the line, I know, ooh, I got to fix that. So it helps me keep in line as well. And I, re I really do love this painting. It's so cute and it looks so nice on my wall. You can see it already in the hallway. <laughs> and as well for this painting, I'm going to put it in my chair in the middle of the screen. So you can see it more clearly. If a nice face of purple flowers. It's your style as well. Let's put it aside real quick. Ooh, it's going to fall. No, it's not. <laughs> and the last painting. So this one, I picked this one out for flowers as well. It's not specifically flowers it's like a field of flowers so that's when i saw it and i really love the colors so that's why i really want to open this one just to see how it looks Ooh, sorry about that the glue kind of rubbed on the plastic sorry about that high squeak i didn't know i was going to do that and for all this one i love the colors on it that's why i really wanted to see it so same thing standard kit this one's a little bit more different as you can see there's a multi-placer on this one it's a three gotta remember to take that one off because i love using the threes four is my favorite but i do use three every now and then and as i said kit will always have you <laughs> well sorry we'll always have your back sorry about that i do like this one <laughs> and these are the diamonds oh my goodness oh that's so neat they put them with the packet so these diamonds oh they're those lovely 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 little bags as you can see them the little individual bags myself i have no issue with them because i love kidding up diamond like diamond painting sorry i'm a big fan of them i can probably be sitting all day and kid up probably pound i don't know five paintings i don't know when i'll get them done but to kid it up <laughs> so these little bags i don't mind and all this little plastic i always make sure to put together and i do recycle them so i don't just throw them away because it is it's a lot of plastic that I think it's a little, for me, sorry, is a little bit too much of a waste. So that's why I try to make sure to recycle. And mostly I just love kidding them up. So I have no problems with these. And they're really small. I love that pink in the middle. As you can probably see here. I'm a big fan of that. There's a lot of earthy tones in this one. I really like it. I love how they slipped in those Ziploc bags. I've never seen them put them with the diamonds. They usually put them with the little kit. So that's new for me. And this one actually has the little paper of the image. So let me take the little paper out real quick. Uh, not all diamond paintings have that, but I do have, sorry, open some paintings that have the little paper that has the image of the painting as well. Let me put the diamonds aside real quick. And this is a little thin paper. <laughs> And what it shows is pretty much not just the image of the painting, but it also includes the size, the type of diamond, the skew number, which is the identifier for the painting. And it shows the listing of how many diamonds are in each pack. This is usually used, I believe, whenever they're putting the diamond kit together. So I think this is more like a checklist to make sure everything's in the packet. Before I go into more detail of that, let me show you the painting. As I said, it's a wonderful field of color of colored flowers with a river and a little tree in the middle so i know it looks a little the way that the drill field is it looks a little muddled but i've done a painting in this kind of style so it'll settle a bit once you start placing the colors you'll start ooh, you'll start seeing it come together and it's such a neat effect whenever you're doing these kind of paintings you're, you're working on it you'll see it starting you know compiling together and i think that's real neat Ooh, I really like this one. This canvas feels really, really softer than the other that I have. It's a little tough, but it's real easy. As you can see, if I let go, it settles and it's real smooth. Oh, I really like this canvas. And so some information about this painting. It is DZDP63456-R-304. hyphen hyphen B. Oh, goodness, that's... <laughs> this is a long name for it and it is a 30 by 40 and it is 18 colors huh expect a little bit more but i see a lot of the black it's yes it's our lovely 310 which i have no problems because i actually do love how 310 looks when it's put together with a lot of bright colors so i love how it helps them pop so i have no problems with that 
and for the legend it's all capital letters yeah it's all capital letters oh my goodness i really like this painting now the thing i'm noticing and y'all are probably catching it too is the white border is really thick and you probably saw my other paintings they're not as thick as this i usually don't measure the paintings but this one i'm going to measure because that is a really thick border and that's kind of throwing me off so i have my little kitty cat ruler here sorry about that it's always a cat so let's see how long it actually is it claims it's a 30 by 40 centimeters oops i was gonna do inches and it's gonna confuse me so for the whole canvas itself it's let's see almost 40 uh horizontal wise and vertically it is yeah it's 30 but for the drill field area it's going to be smaller so for the drill field area it is 34 34 yeah it's 34 horizontal vertically it is whoa 24 i believe yeah it's around 24 yeah it's so a drill field is a little smaller but i still think it's real pretty and i know some painters cut off the edge myself i don't i don't really mind and since i put them on the wall even without a without a frame this little white border helps me a lot to press it into the wall so i don't have to mess with the <laughs> the painting huh it's a little smaller i think i can finish this one up real quickly hmm i do like it though and this painting i did get on a lightning deal i'm trying really hard to remember the price i believe it was three dollars and 70 some cents my apologies i forgot to get the price totals for these but this one was a little more a little bit more affordable and i was surprised because it's 30 by 40 but i think it was discounted so much because you can see the drill field is a little smaller i'm assuming that's why the price got dropped a lot and i was surprised like i said it's a 30 by 40 i thought for sure it would be around four or five when i saw it was three that's why i picked it up yeah and i really just love how it looks Ooh, i really do like it and oh that's the other thing you can probably see in the drill field they're a little squared as you can see let's see right here they're a little squared but it does it doesn't really make a difference this painting is a round diamond but once you place the rounds on it you really don't see the little square lining i've done a painting in this style before so do not worry if you decide ooh, i like that painting but the squares make you a little nervous it's all right the diamonds actually cover it up really well so you don't really spot them once everything comes together and for this painting as well i'm going to make sure to put it in my chair so you can see a little more clearly you have a nice field of beautiful flowers with a river is your style as well <laughs> oh and my apologies i forgot to show a little paper so as you can see it shows the little kind of colorful the little image itself and it does it just shows pretty much all the quantity of all the little bags and how many packs each have i love this because since they're the little bags i love that it breaks down the number whenever i kid them up it helps me out so let's say for number one which is our lovely 310 there are seven packs of this color so when i'm organizing getting ready to kit it up i'll find seven separate them know that ooh, they are the seven i can locate it helps me figure out a lot in case i'm missing any kind of let's say uh, the next number i'm missing a pack then i can reach out to timu and see if there's a way we can you know get some more diamonds or i probably have some since i save i save all my diamonds so i probably have some as a backup but if not i can reach out to timu in case i'm missing any from packs of colors from these as i said i really love that they put these little papers for the larger paintings so you can see to make sure that you have all the colors as well <laughs> sorry about that i just really wanted to make sure to explain that to y'all you've never seen this little paper before but yeah that's all i wanted to show today sorry this one was a little longer explanation but some of this surprised me as well so i just wanted to make sure to explain it a little bit for y'all as well and again if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back i really do appreciate it if you're new to the channel all i ask is if you can do the usual if you can like and subscribe that i'd really appreciate that as well it really helps put the channel out there and it really allows me the opportunity to show everyone these wonderful paintings I love to show to y'all as well. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.